Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Strange Horticulture. Key provided by the uh, publisher. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate the opportunity to try this game. Um, I've been really looking forward to this. There's been, um, well, well, we'll get into it. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about my thoughts in a second. This is a very narrative driven game. I'm not going to skip the text, okay? <laughs> the streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or more likely exchange unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn about uh, there's much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Friday, day one. I found it, an excerpt on the elusive wandering boo. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the gilded dendra that might be of interest. Simone. P.S. Give Hellborn a good scratch behind the ear for me. Yeah, where, where is that? We got, we got some drawers, we got some labels, some items. What is this? What is this? What is, what is this? What are these? What is this? This encyclopedia can be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I have included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid to identification. Often the description will be used, will be more useful to you. Remember to take extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I except no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misuse of this encyclopedia. Okay, we can uh, look at Harlequin Boo. When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a down downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Okay, so this is this is gonna help us identify Harlequin Boo. Maybe when we when we get that, we can put that back. What's this? Ooh, a map of Undermere of the surrounding area. Ooh, look at that. We've got a very uh, tactile um, control system here. Like you, you move things around. Kind of reminds me of Papers Please, which I know that people have already kind of compared this game a little bit to. But I think there's a little bit more uh, going on in this one than in Papers, Please. The will to explore. Oh. So where where are we going? Come to the library in Ambleside. Okay, so are we going to Ambleside? I wonder if we can just travel there using this map. Ambleside. The library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Gilded Dendra, Wandering Boo. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma, a sure and painful way to die. The poison is so, so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. So called because a uh, Wandering Boo is because this fungus can move slowly in the dark. It has been known to cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. So those are new pages added to our uh, book. We can throw this back in there. Oh, we've got a magnifying glass. So those are our clues. Is this a new clue? Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills up to the northeast of ba Backbarrow. Keep it secret. So we haven't really done anything with our plants yet. We can we can have a good look. Maybe we have some uh, of this new plant that we we know about. Hint? We don't have any hints. We could press a press our button there. Victoria Gray. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. Uh, at night I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me. 
but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. St. John's Poppy. So I have to find some St. John's Poppy to give to her. So, um, let's look through our book for St. John's Poppy. What does that look like? Vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draught that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. The flower of the St. John's Poppy are bright red with a yellow center. Okay, let's see. Uh, this looks like that. We can have a look. Closer inspection. The flowers are red with a sweet scent. So we'll give that to her. Use plant. There we go. Plant identified. Rewards. Book entry. Collect. So we've done our first mission and we... we you know, I have, I have to assume maybe they'll come back and, and give me more information about the them hearing the dead. I guess we can put a label on this, right? We'll put a blue tag on that. The blue will be good. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower, and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be re returning to Undermere soon. So I'm assuming that this is going to give us clues to uh, finding a plant that will be very useful to us. Gosforth, so we start in Gosforth. Where is Gosforth? Looking for Gosforth. Where is Gosforth? Cannot find Gosforth. There it is, Gosforth. Um, okay, so I began my recovery in the woods to the south of town. So these are the woods south of town. Um, on the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower. Okay, so right here, I'm assuming. The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Collect the flower. We've got a new one. New plant acquired. So what is this dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills? To the northeast of Backborough. We should, uh, we should... Oh, we can't do this one. I have neither the time nor the inclination. Okay, well, we gotta do a story thing then. What is that? Oh, I just spotted something. What is that? Is that a clue? I just got a letter. I just got a letter. Looking for a plant with lemon rind. Could be those. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those, those leaves do kind of look like, uh, very curly lemon rinds. Let's, let's have a look. Faintly of off-putting, but not overpowering. Okay, yeah, this this feels like it. Nice. Lemon dandy discovered. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask. And next to her, a terrifying black skeletal creature. Can I pet the cat? Um, it stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing. But not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Forest chamfrey. Um, the strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful sonorific effect, making it a common ingredient in sleeping draughts. The chamfrey produces a beautiful, rounded, dark blue cluster made up of s many smaller flowers. Oh, 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 this one looks more like that. It's pungent, but not unpleasant. The bulb is a soft yellow. The leaves are waxy. Plant identified. Book entry. Often found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. Got any wandering boo? Uh, that always reminds me of, uh... Oh, what's his name? That old hermit inventor, the Wanderer. Anyway, the boo, if you've got it. Okay. Well, I, I did find out about boo, didn't I? Yeah, I, I got an entry on that because I discovered the library. Right, so this mushroom... moves? Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. 
Red spores protrude from the caps. The, it does say that the underside of the mushrooms form beautiful flowing lines that are sharp. And also, this diagram does indicate little, little bumps on the outside. So this might actually be it. Let's try it. Nice. So let's go ahead and mark this one. Nice. End day. That's the end of the day. What is this? Oh, interesting. Row H, the third river. It started when she found something, something that was that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Day two, Saturday. 36 hours remain. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Row H, the third river. Okay, well, let's try that. Row H, one, two, three, the third river. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotted flesh. Death for one provides life for many. We got a new plant. New plant acquired. Creepy plant from deer. All right, I can pet the cat. Pet, pet the cat. You can you can actually you can actually pet the cat. We have bios now. Bur Burbage is a rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick to anger. There are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him, but with wealth comes power, and few would challenge him to his face. I'm wondering if there's maybe a, a reward for giving people the wrong plant. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisis, and be quick about it. That damn cat is setting off my allergies. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. Yo, you just bad talked my cat, you're definitely getting the wrong plant. Uh, first of all, what does Apis Demisis do? Apis Demisis, where is that? We don't know about that one, actually. I'm assuming this guy is going to get really annoyed with us if we don't give him what he wants soon. We, we can water the plants, by the way. I'm not sure, maybe that's a bad thing for certain plants. Oh! In sleeping draughts, okay. Let's give this guy a sleeping draught plant. <laughs> he could use a little bit of chill, if you know what I mean. I need to be more careful. That wasn't the right plant. I must be better prepared next time. Well, I don't know, dude. Apistemesis. I, I, don't, I don't know about that one. Let's uh, get a hint. That sounds like the Latin name for a plant. I should consult my book. Oh, interesting. So he's giving us the, the Latin name. So we're gonna have to go through these. Oh, there it is, there it is. Gandy root. Interesting, okay, that was a good hint. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Okay, um, let's have a look here. Da, 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 da. I'm tempted to say this one, but I don't know. It doesn't have that thing sticking out of it. I know that, the, again, the, the illustration is not meant to be used to identify it necessarily. Oh. This could be it. But it, I feel like the the leaves are a bit more droopy in this. I, I don't know. It could be basically anything. Could be it could be these guys. I'm not sure if maybe the uh, stem is supposed to arch like it does in this. Like this one's pretty archy. I guess I can have a closer look. Dark blue petals are soft and feathery to the touch. My fingers ache from handling this plant. Very close sweet smelling dark flower i feel like that's the one i think that's the winner the leaves are coarse to the touch could be this one as well and it only has one of those things i'm gonna try this one there we go nice gandy root there's an old slate mine at hard knots that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it i've never seen anything like them before they seem to have found a niche in the dark 
damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Ba -ba 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 -ba, looking for hard knot. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Meat hop. It's like uh, it's like I hop, except they they just sell like steak there. There it is. Yeah, we could do that. Entrance to the tram tunnel rusted. It may be, but it won't budge. Locked. Clavillium. Oh, it. Oh, I see. Oh, we need to use a clavillium. Oh, that's clever because it, it told me that clavillium was um used for breaking locks, right? The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Lovelock. Heart-shaped leaves. This they these look like heart-shaped leaves. Flowers are made up of many smaller flower blue flowers. They smell pleasant. Nice. Clavillium. Collect. Uh, Aguria. When burned, incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Light blue flowers like rounded tufts of gentle lamb's wool characterize this plant. Oh, we have tons of plants to collect here. Collect new plants. Ooh, all kinds of mushrooms. Look at, look at all them mushrooms. I'm heading to Grizzadale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Nice. I got a new entry, Brimlock. We'll, we'll get to that later, maybe. And just take in the next one. We don't have any more clues right now. Oh, I'll put this in the archives, by the way. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's puppy. Okay, we got we have development on a previous story. There's a medium using the room. Illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need more sleep. I need my sleep. Um, interesting. That's a, that's a tricky one. That That's the first time I've been asked to find something uh, without a name, basically. Um, can enhance psychic ability, strengthening the clarity of visions, and seem to draw light in enveloping that protects against extreme cold. Cure for all manner of skin rashes. Strength for short periods uh, at the expense of severe effect of friendship between strange. Drink the sap of this plant. Poison is so potent that I'm gonna go ahead and label that. May as well label plants if I if I know what they are. And this is our first um, poison plant. Burn. Oh, they burn. They let out a high pitched shriek, wildly believing to be believed to be spirits of the dead. This sounds perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Um, bushy blue flower heads die back. They release seeds. White flower, blue leaves. So it'd be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Um, this seems like it. Blue flowers, light, airy scent. It could be this, but I, I, I do wonder. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go with this one. Nice, Harlequin blue. I gotta say, this is very engrossing. Even just like labeling plants and like trying to work out what they are is, is, is pretty fun. Honestly, like, you know what I'd want to do? The temptation is to just like go through all of the ones that I currently know about and see if I have them and and then just like work them out ahead of time. Bethany Coleman, you may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arduina bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. I wonder if it would be worth using an explorer just to like click randomly on the map, see if we can find something. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll give that to them. Oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't Mary's breath. Ooh, interesting. It had waxy leaves though. You cannot deny it did have waxy leaves. Veined leaves have a wash, uh, waxy finish. Maybe, maybe I do need to water it to find out. Allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. Um, well that's the only other plant I think it could be. All right, that was it. I, I think I got lucky there a little bit. We got a letter. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grizzadell Forest, a mile from the lake shore across from Torver. Please help us. Yours in hope, the sister. Hood of, of uh, Arduina. 
Ah, so there's Torver. So I can imagine it's like here. A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door, along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table, draped in silk, is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as a raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? asks my escort. I set to work. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons, and so can be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. So this is interesting. Uh, if I try and find this, uh, it'll tell me if my main character has known death or not. It has a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. Smell unpleasant to those who have known death. So my character has, I, I'm assuming that this is it. It's one of the few that doesn't have a flower. I have to assume it's this one. So our character has known death. There's a little bit of uh, storytelling for us there. We'll also uh, label it. Isidore Burbridge, Burbage, you're, you're a jerk, right? I'm this close to reporting you, halfwit. The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. So we have an option, Butterdale or Meekdu. Let's have a look at both of those plants. So let's have a look at Butterdale. Growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. So we could give him that, or it may be a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Uh, as much as it sounds like fun to prank this guy, I feel like since he is an inspector, See, not a, he's a judge. He's a rich man. I think he will just like end up making my life miserable if I do him dirty like that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and, and give him the right plant. Anyway, that was the end of the day. We're gonna get another card and then I'll, I'll end this, but this is really cool. I could definitely play more of this. I, I you know, I, I wish I could do more series. I'd, I'd love to do a series on this game. North of Hawkshed, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, south of Crinkle Crags. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. I noticed, okay, so we, we have recovered our uh, rising dead, dread, which is good. I, I don't, I guess I, I, I don't really want to know what happens when that f fills in completely. I don't know if maybe we just fail the day or something, but I'm kind of like really compelled not to to make that happen and i wouldn't actually want to spoil it since this is a um narrative driven game i have to assume that something narrative happens that cannot maybe be undone when that fills so i don't know maybe it's bad form for me to not show that off but i think that this is a game that uh is built on a novelty of discovering secrets and so i think it's best to maybe leave some but anyway this is strange horticulture and this is really cool i i will definitely be playing this uh, either in my off time or if I want to do a series, if there's call for a series, I would certainly consider doing that. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.